Well, folks, uh, another new video. My son, you're, you guys are doing good so far. One video seems like a, at least one video per day. Got like that. Anyway, so uh, the re recap, or she should say, the capacitor kits. Um, the owner of the radios uh, picked them up. Finally got delivered I think, yesterday, and he dropped them off last night. And we're going to replace. Look for the caps in this TRC 451 as well as uh, two TRC 457s. And uh, this is what this basically this video is going to be about, or next couple of videos. We're going to recap these radios and uh, see how they work out. So if you're interested in tagging along for this little uh, rip here, you're more than welcome. So without further ado, let's get the covers ripped off this and start pulling caps. This is going to be like pulling teeth, this is. <laughs> there you go, I still got a few left. I've got uh, pretty much the whole, this whole part of the board done. So now I've got the uh, audio section over here. Audio section as well as noise blanker board to do. So all of these along here and these. Uh, I've got the capacitor changed down here. I've got all the all these black capacitors are all the new ones, the dark color caps. Uh, not sure if there's one of these. There must seem to be one of these in that kit. It's a uh, 22 UF uh, 16 volt. Once get everything installed, I'll see what's left over, and whatever's closest to this value, I'll change it out with. But for right now, we've still got. Uh, See over here. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ten more capacitors, electrolytics to uh, change out over here, and then we'll uh, we'll pretty much have this uh, this radio recapped, which is awesome. Moving on to the TRC four fifty seven next, but uh, here's all the capacitors that's been removed from the radio. All these will go straight to the garbage <laughs> after I'm done. They will not collect go. <laughs> they will not collect pass and go. They're going straight to jail, which is the garbage can. So anyways, a couple more, a uh, few more caps to replace here. And then we're going to try her out. And uh, see what she sounds like. See if the noise is at her receiver. It should be gone out of the receiver now. If it's not capacitor related, now you're down to a transistor somewhere in the receiver. Bad. But, we'll see. So, uh, let's replace a few more caps here. And then we'll uh, be back shortly. All the caps right under the VCO have been repaired. Replaced. So, yeah. Anyways, let's... Uh, Let's keep going. Okay, hoax. There she is. TRC 451. All replaced. All capacitors. There's not one gray capacitor left inside of her. Not the one. All replaced. Took about an hour. Took about an hour out of my life to do it. <laughs> but, uh,. She needed it. <clears throat> so there's the original package that the all came in. There's all the pack capacitors. I'll uh, I'll pull it out. And all replaced. So what we're gonna do now is uh, hook her up here and see what she's like. Uh, folks, so I got the 451 all recapped as you can see and There's the bag of uh, garbage right there and uh, I turned her back on And there's very little receive very little um, now Earlier now this is like two days later since I'm updating this video 
And uh, when I updated all the capacitors, she's done the exact same thing she's doing now. Very little receive. Didn't seem like anything was making any difference. And uh, after a while, I bit checked the VCO. Everything's working fine. It seems like there's no receive. Very little receive. Actually, no receive. So, if you remember back a while ago, I done a video on this 451. You remember all the static that was in the uh, in the in the receiver. Well, the receiver kicked in. It went from this to like deafening you. And even though the capacitors have all been replaced, mm -hmm, she is still doing that noise in the receiver. So I know it's not a capacitor. They've all been replaced. I checked the polarity of every capacitor. They're all correct. But the symptom still remains. So now, we're either down to bad solder joints, possibly. Maybe. Can't say for sure, but we'll check into it. I may have bad uh, potentiometers here. We have, may have bad transistors here. There's like humpteen million of them in this radio. And either one of them could be causing the symptoms. So the only really active components right now that could be causing what I'm, what I'm having now is either a transistor or a diode. <laughs> Question is, which one is it? Or which circuit is it? Um, because whatever circuit is, it's it's affecting the receive section in such a way that the transmitter works perfect, full power output, full modulation on AM, upper and lower side band works perfect on transmit. When it comes to the receive, is where the problem lies. So, I'm thinking we still have a bad transistor somewhere in the circuit, somewhere in the receive side. And uh, I'm kind of thinking there's probably a bad transistor. So, um, I guess my next plan of attack is to go through every single transistor on the board in the receive section. And see if we can't uh, figure out what is what here. Because something is just not right. It could be, I mean, it can't, uh, I mean, you got a 10 to 40 crystal down there. And, uh, I mean, if it wasn't oscillating, the PLL wouldn't be oscillating, therefore the VCO wasn't, wouldn't be working. So, we do know that the VCO down here took a big smack when this uh, resistor over here burned up We replaced that. So I'm thinking there's still a problem with the transistor in the receiver section of this radio that's causing, as you hear now, very little receive. But, to prove there's no receive, we'll just put the antenna connector, put connector on. You hear a little bit. AM. That's full. RF gain works. Both works. Dimmer works. Clarifier works. And as we divide them up on bust, it's off. 
That's all the way. Key to microphone. On AM. And you know we got lots of uh, lots of signal there. So we know it's not an issue with that. Put her on upper side bed. Test one two one two one two one two one two. And just like that, receiver came back. And now you hear the noise. RF gain all the way turned off. It's a strange one there, for sure. What's going on here? Test one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two. Test one, two, audio. What it sounds like, an old, like the old tube gear, you have a bad audio tube, get all noisy and scratchy and stuff. Well, that's what this sounds like. It's the best I can describe it. Sounds like an old bad vacuum tube. <laughs> Test one, two, three. Test one, two, one, two, three. Audio, audio, one, two. Testing one, two, one, two, three. Audio, 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 audio. But the noise only seems to affect AM for the most part. Anyways. Don't know what it is yet, but uh, yeah, it's a strange one. It seems to me there's a bad capacitor in here, probably a bad switching transistor, is my guess. Anyways, we'll uh, throw up this video on the capacitor uh, swap outs. What could that be? Ha, ha, ha.